This is part 5 of chapter number 10. This is the last part. From exercise 10, question number 7. Let M into this matrix is equal to this matrix. Where M is a matrix. So this is also a matrix. M is a matrix multiplied with another matrix to give you this as the result which is also a matrix. First question is state the order of matrix M. You have to find the order of matrix M which means you have to find how many rows and how many columns M has. That's the first question and the second question is find matrix M. After finding the order of matrix M you also have to find the elements that are there in matrix M. So about the first part that is state the order of matrix M to find the order of M which means how many rows how many columns this has. Okay. You don't know how many rows and how many columns this has therefore our assumption is for the first part let matrix M have X rows and Y columns. It has X rows and Y columns. Now you don't know how much is X and Y. We are just assuming that it has X number of rows and Y number of columns. Okay. So I have written the same thing. M multiplied by this matrix is equal to this is the result that matrix. Okay. Now we assumed that M has X rows and Y columns. So this is the order that I have written. It has X rows. So these are rows, these are rows and these are columns. Similarly for this, these are rows and these are columns. For this, this is row and column. Okay. So for M, we assume that it has X rows and Y columns. So it's an X by Y matrix. And for this second matrix, one, two rows, two rows and two columns, two columns. That's the order. And for this, there is one row and two columns. So it's a one by two matrix. Okay. So you're going to multiply M with this matrix. Now, matrix multiplication was possible. That is why you got a result here. Which means in this case, multiplication was possible. Now, you know that when I talk, told you about matrix multiplication, you have to check something. Okay. That is, I've drawn the rectangle here. If these two numbers are same, means matrix multiplication is possible. So in our case, matrix multiplication was possible. So for matrix multiplication to be possible, columns of the first matrix and rows of the second matrix must be equal. First columns of first matrix is equal to rows of second matrix. Let's substitute by whatever is here. Columns of the first matrix is Y is equal to rows of the second matrix that is this is 2 which means y value is 2 so you get this y is equal to 2 you got y value you also have to find x value now this you check to see whether multiplication is possible and the result that you get must be of the order rows of the first matrix by columns of the second matrix so the result that you get must be a x by 2 matrix okay so the resultant matrix is of the order rows of first that is this by columns of the second that is this but isn't this your result the result has order 1 by 2 so result has order 1 by 2 according to this the result must be of order x by 2 okay according to your actual result the order of that matrix is 1 by 2 which means both of them should be equal okay. so rows of the first matrix by columns of the second matrix must be equal to 1 by 2 rows of the first matrix is x according to this okay. by columns of the second matrix is 2 okay. according to the first part that is this one x by 2 that's what I have written here this must be equal to 1 by 2 so you can see both of them are equal the second part is same 2 2 which means the first part also must be same that means x must be equal to 1 so you get x is equal to 1 so you got x value and also you got y value according to our assumption according to our assumption 
let matrix M have X rows and Y columns. So matrix M, order of M is X by Y, X value is 1 and Y value you got is 2, 1 by 2. So M also has order 1 by 2. M also has order 1 by 2 means this has order 1 by 2 which is similar to this this is also 1 by 2 which means M should look something like this ok we got the order of M now it's also like this if this is a 2 by 2 matrix and if you multiply any matrix with a 2 by 2 matrix the order of this and the order of the result must be the same so if this is a 1 by 2 matrix this also must be a 1 by 2 matrix that's the shorter method ok but actually you are supposed to write all these in detail so we got the order of matrix M which is 1 by 2 now for the second part you have to find matrix M you don't know the elements that are present in M so let's consider M is having two elements A and B similar to 13, 4 this one the result ok having two elements because the order is same so this was the question M multiplied with a 2 by 2 matrix gives you this as the result so M you know is A B that I have written matrix with two elements A and B into the second matrix gives you the result this one so let's multiply this which means you have to multiply this row this row with this column so A into 2 that one plus B into 3 so first row with first column is done next first row with second column you have to multiply that means A has to be multiplied with 5 A into 5 plus B into minus 2 plus D into minus 2 that's all first row with first column is done first row with second column is done written the result there is no second row okay. this must be equal to 13 4 now simplify this a into 2 is 2a plus b into 3 is 3b and this is 5a minus 2b should be equal to 13 4 now this matrix and this matrix are equal which means first element here must be equal to first element second element must be equal to second element so on equating this you get 2a plus 3b is equal to 13 2a plus 3b is equal to 13 that's equation 1 and 5a minus 2b is equal to 4 5a minus 2b is equal to 4 is equation 2 you got two simultaneous equations which has to be solved so let's solve the two simultaneous equations let's make the b term equal 3 and 2 LCM is 6 which means 3 has to be multiplied with 2 and 2 has to be multiplied with 3 so let's multiply 2 with the whole equation this becomes 4a this becomes plus 6b this becomes 26 and multiply the second equation by 3 this becomes 15a this becomes minus 6b is equal to 12 add both these now 4a plus 15a is 19a and 6b and minus 6b gets cancelled is equal to 26 plus 12 is 38 so you get a is equal to take the 19 that's it 38 divided by 19 is 2 so you got the value of a you also have to find B. Substitute A in equation 1. Equation 1 is 2A plus 3B is equal to 13. Put A's value. A's value is 2. So 2 into 2 that gives you 4 plus 3B is equal to 13. Take the 4 that says 3B is equal to 9. B is equal to 9 divided by 3 that gives you the 3. So you know B's value now is 3. You found A, you found B. You assume that matrix M had two elements A and B. A's value is 2 and B's value is 3. So this is matrix M. Okay. First part was to find order of matrix M and second part is to find matrix M itself. Next question is question number 54. If A is a matrix, this one, and B is this and I is the identity matrix of the same order same order means order same order as this and A T means A transpose is the transpose of matrix A find A transpose into B 
plus b into i. See, you know a, you know b. I also you should know. I is identity matrix, which means diagonal element should be ones, the rest should be zeros. So I value must be one zero 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 one. Okay. But here you can see there is a transpose. So let's find a transpose first. So a transpose is transpose of matrix A. Whatever is in the row becomes columns. 2, 5 is the first row, becomes 2, 5 as the first column. 1, 3 is the second row, this becomes the second column, 1, 3. So this is A transpose. Now put the values in this. Okay. So A transpose into B plus D into I. A transpose is this, that is 2, 1, 5, 3. Into B, B is this, plus B again into I is this 1, 0, 0, 1. Now multiply. This with this. So first row with first column, that's 2 into 4, which is 8, and plus 1 into minus 1, which is minus 1. Then first row with second column, this one. 2 into minus 2, which is minus 4, plus 1 into 3, which is 3. Then Second row with first column, that is 5 into 4, which is 20, plus 3 into minus 1, which is minus 3. And second row with second column, 5 into minus 2 is minus 10, plus 3 into 3 is 9. Similarly, plus, multiply these, that's first row with first column, that's 4 into 1, which is 4, plus minus 2 into 0, which is 0. Then first row with second column, this one, 4 into 0, which is 0, plus minus 2 into 1 is minus 2. Then second row with first column, that is minus 1 into 1, which is minus 1, plus 3 into 0, which is 0. And lastly, second row with second column, that is minus 1 into 0, which is 0, plus 3 into 1, which is 3. Now to simplify this, 8 minus 1 gives you 7. Minus 4 plus 3 is minus 1, 20 minus 3 is 17, minus 10 plus 9 is minus 1, plus, that's 4, that's minus 2, this is minus 1, and that's 3. Add these two matrices, that means 7 plus 4, which is 11, minus 1 plus minus 2 is minus 3, 17 minus 1 is 16, and minus 1 plus 3 is 2. So this is the value of A into B, sorry, A transpose into B plus B into R. And homework, exercise 10, question numbers 34, 41, 43, 44 subdivision B, 55 and 60.